Let's face it, our bodies are spaces that we're renting to live in. There's a key difference between living in the apartment or home of your dreams or being in prison. So many people are walking around being held captive within their own bodies. And that is caused from being at war with yourself. Think of it like this. If you went into your job every single day and tried your hardest, but your boss yelled at you, told you you're not good enough, and then doesn't pay you, you're eventually gonna stop performing and eventually quit. That's what your body's doing to you every single time you neglect it of what it needs and then you give it things that it doesn't need. The equivalent of your boss yelling at you and putting you down is like you giving yourself harmful things that your body can't use every single day. This repetitive behavior over time causes your body to shut down, stop performing, and quit on you. You have now entered a war with yourself. In this war, despite all the efforts to cause your body to do something, it's gonna say no. I don't feel like it. In this war, the voices inside of your head, they're self-destructive, they're resistance. They're telling you everything that you don't need to hear. They're telling you to quit. They're telling you you're too tired. They're telling you you're never going to get that goal body. You don't deserve it. It's your genetics. It's age. It's just the way it is and you need to accept it. I want you to think of it like this. If that voice was a person, number one, you wouldn't want to hang around with them. And if you were around them, you would tell them to shut up. See, when you're at war with yourself, you can't listen to your body. That voice? You have to mute it because that trust has been broken. Your body doesn't trust you. It doesn't rely on you to do what it needs because you failed it so many times before. This is why beginning or beginning again is so hard because you have to literally stop listening to yourself. You have to end the war with yourself. And the only way to end a war is to wave a white flag. As you know with any relationship, building trust again is not easy. Only way you're gonna get there is showing your body you're gonna be consistent, you can be relied on, you are gonna do what it takes, you aren't gonna quit. When discipline takes over, that's when you can listen to your body. The only thing stopping you from living in your dream body is this war you've created with yourself. So override that voice, develop discipline, regain trust.